So just made it here at the gun range. I don't even know the name of the place. It's some pawn shop that looks like somebody's um, uh, garage, old beat up garage. Look at them cars. Y'all see these old cars. I don't know where my friend took me, but I feel like I should be scared a little bit. Happy Saturday, it's just Janine. Well, actually it's afternoon, I should say. I'm just getting a late start. So, how are y'all this morning or afternoon? I keep forgetting what time it is. Hope y'all are doing good. I am actually up and ready. As you can see, my hair is different. I actually did my little, I don't know if you can see good. I did my little clip-ins, put my little clip-ins in. Eh, nothing fancy. I didn't feel like doing my hair, so that's why I put them in. But I am going somewhere today, and I am going to do something today that I've never done before. So I am actually going to the gun range. So first time shooting a lot of gun. I've never, well, I won't say I've never held a gun before, but it's been like long, long years ago. And it was, I think, a musket. <laughs> I think the kind that you stuff the, the powder in, I guess that's a musket. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong, but yeah and then i did some skeet shooting before but i'm actually going to a gun range for the first time to shoot i'm scared of guns terrified of guns so pray for me <laughs> that everything will go well on my safety so i'm going with a, a friend um so that's actually where i'm headed to right now so i'm actually on my way out i'm in the car with my green smoothie good for you i didn't have time to fix breakfast um so i had to get me something to eat y'all i was starving i ain't taking my medicine somebody was holding me up <laughs> So off to the gun range we go. So I got me some shrimp etouffee at this restaurant right here. Got me some shrimp shrimp etouffee at the New Orleans Lunchbox restaurant. Check them out. <laughs> Hospital <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> Check them out. <laughs> All right, which way are we going? Because I don't even know where I'm going. Go, going here, go, go to the park. No one to do over here. I ain't gonna run over this dude. <laughs> Hey, I'd not be bending, crouching down. You don't have to put that upside my head because it it, it actually films quite closely anyway. I so you don't have to be like upside this. upside my head. You gonna turn right at the traffic light? Yep. Have the hiccups. Yeah, you should be driving with both hands on the steering wheel. There you go. Safety first. Ooh, let me make this for why everybody turning. Hold tight. Is your car on two wheel? Yep. Look at those beautiful mountains. There's houses up there, y'all. All the way from the top to the bottom. There are houses. So this is the project side of Huntsville. As you can see, these are the projects. Dude in the... Yep, these are the project. You can tell these. Where's the projects? How come there are no white projects? Why? Why is it when you see the projects, it's all black people? You just lost all your subscribers. Wow, I just never understood that. It's like we have like a secluded place where we're supposed gonna to. Gonna turn left on the parkway. Get in this lane. This lane. This lane. Oh, I get nervous. Because I don't this when I get caught up in traffic like this, like I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, here we go. Now you're gonna have to help me drive because I get nervous well, when I'm in a lot of traffic. Somebody did. Oh my god, can you please <laughs> stop right? Oh camera. You're killing my footage. 
Just don't say nothing. How about that? Just don't say nothing. All right, where am I going? Okay. Well, who was you waiting on? I don't know. On the parkway. Oh. oh my God. I told you I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> How do you get to work by yourself? <laughs> I don't drive on this side of Huntsville, so I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. All right, stay, stay in this lane. Okay. should be having both your hands on the steering wheel driving. Well, I'm trying to be cool. Why is there so many people shooting? The same reason you're trying to shoot. That made me scared. Additional parking through the fence. No parking at any time. Can you park here? Yep. Huh? Yep. I can? Yep. It says no parking any time. Exactly. So what are you asking? Oh, oh, you are the cool. You supposed to be looking that way. <laughs> well, you want me to record you. Like, what do you, what do you? So what do you want? You can't hold the camera and record. So why should I be looking that way if you the one driving? Oh my god. Uh, really this wishing. place. Where'd you find this place? This look like some old Dukes of Hazard type craziness. We made it. See, that go a hearse. That's a bad sign. You see that hearse just go by? Nope. Bad sign. No. It's a bad omen. y'all so we just left the gun range and it was extremely loud this is my first time like i said extremely loud it was fun i was nervous as all get out but i got my what do you call my battle scars check this out y'all i don't know if y'all can see it but one of the casings hit my neck burnt the white meat off my neck so when you go to shoot wear a shirt to come all wet around here because <laughs> those cases will jump and they will light you up but when they put the um what do you call the the ear puffs on your ear it was like i wasn't i didn't have any so they had to give me the cushions to put in my ear and then put the ear muffs on my ear because it, it was killing my ears but i learned how to load a gun no I take it back. I learned how to pick up a gun, <laughs> and I learned how to load it, and we call it lock it, lock it, and fire. So the gun that I had was a Glock. What? I had a Glock. I shot with a, a Glock something, and then I shot the a nine millimeter. So a nine millimeter and a and a Glock. Three eighty Glock. Glock three eighty. A Glock 380, I think is what it was. 380 caliber. A 380 caliber. So it was cool. I mean, I did, I did good. I shot. He said you could, you could, you could have one second between shots. So I would shoot, and then several seconds later I shoot again. But then I got comfortable, and then I would shoot back to back. Bow, 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 bow. bow. Shoot. Sure. <laughs> So we're just leaving here and I don't know where I'm going. I'm gonna drop him off on the side of the road somewhere and then I'm gonna head on. So as you can see, I am recording on my phone because I don't feel like hauling around a big camera in this store. So as you can see, look at all of this Christmas stuff. Like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. Look at this. Look at this Christmas stuff. Already getting us into the holiday spirit so we can spend money. That's what we're doing up in Hobby Lobby. I'm not trying to get any fall stuff right now because it's not fall until, what, the end of September next month? But let me show you some of the stuff they've got so far in case y'all wanted some ideas.
Yeah, look at all this fall stuff they got. So my neck is still burning from the <laughs> from from the uh, from the uh, gun range, and my lips feel so chapped. So I gotta go to. Uh, I'm actually headed to Publix right now. I gotta get some aloe vera and put it on my neck before this thing makes a, a scar. So um, yeah, I gotta do that. So I couldn't film like I wanted to. Like I said, I don't know if I said it earlier. I wanted to film, but it, I was so, like, my nerves are, like, so wrecked so bad. I couldn't even, I, I wasn't even thinking nothing about pulling out a camera and trying to film nothing until the very end when it was about over with. But the guy told me, it was so funny, <laughs> before he went in there, he gave us, like, a little, gave me, really, a pep talk. Because I had never been to a gun range. It was my first time. And I've never, you know, shot a live gun like that. And so he was, the first thing he asked me is, what kind of gun do you want? And I said, the smallest one you got. He said, wrong answer. <laughs> he said, you don't want the smallest gun because that's going to have more kickback. So he said, you want, you want something a little bigger, uh, like something medium size where it's less kickback because it's going to hurt. Um, so I went with, um, and I have to stop touching my neck, but that hurts. But I went with a... Um, with a Glock something other like I said earlier in the video and um, but yeah my, my nerve my nerves were very wrecked uh, shooting those guns and so I shot the gun and I did good I got a little comfortable shooting the gun and the the rounds were just popping off and there were so many rounds when we first walked in there it was hot like it was like 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 suffocating hot in there and I'm like well why is it so hot in here you would think they would have the air on would it be you know a little cool keep it cool in here with all these hot rounds uh, flopping all over the place but yeah word to the wise if you're gonna go to a gun range first time shooters first time on the gun range definitely tennis shoes long pants and something that covers your neck and shoulders and arms because those shell casings are hot and they pop all over the place and they will definitely stick and burn your skin. And I got proof, the white meat, it burned to the white meat of my skin. Yeah. But it was a cool experience though. Like I said, I've never done anything like that before. It was out of my comfort zone. So it was a real cool experience to, to do that. So I appreciate my friend for taking me and uh, spending his hard little money <laughs> to take me to the gun range. So that was really cool. So thank you, my friend, for taking me. So I am back home. I am tired. It was a fun day, very eventful day. And special shout out to my coworker for taking me to the gun range and just enjoying myself with that. So yeah, it was cool. So I just come home and I uh, have not eaten yet, so I'm about to sit down and eat something, catch something on Netflix to watch. Um, I got a little bit of decor going on here, as you can see. <clears throat> as you can see there, I'm trying to get something set up, change my background a little bit. So I'll, I'll get closer so y'all can see it. So these are um, some like window um uh, panels or window frame things little decor i don't have it right where i want it i just put them on the wall just to see how it looks i got these i got these bulbs but i'm gonna have to take them back because they're not the white uh light they're the yellow light and i don't want that in my background i don't want that yellow light in my background i got enough yellow light in this house as it is that i gotta change out let me just show you what i got from wendy Oh, here's my aloe vera leaf, so that way I can um, put that on my neck, which I need to do right now. But let me just show you some things I got here. I got my flax seeds. I've been trying to find um, flax seeds, so I got that. I got two salads, because I, I wanted 
the taco salad and I wanted the um, apple pecan salad. So I got two small salads for the price of one big salad. <laughs> just so I can have both of them. And my little fixings for my taco salad is right there. Hold up now. Did they just give me no chips? No! They left out my tortilla chips. Oh my gosh. How cheap of Wendy's. I better, okay. I got some tortillas in the cabinet. Oh, how cheap of them not to put my tortillas in there. Oh man. I cannot believe they would do me like that. Well, just so happened I got some. So, phew. That's why you should always check your bag before you leave the drive through because they always want to jip you on something. Always want to jip you on something. So, oh, I got me some more avocados because I'm going to be making another hair mask because I am running low because I run through that stuff because I love conditioner. So I'll run through that stuff like crazy. Hey, Pugani. Hey, Pugani. Tell the people how. Did you almost slip up? I believe you almost slipped <laughs> looking at the camera. How are you going to slip sitting down? Thank y'all for just sharing the day with me and I appreciate it. Uh, all the support, all my new subscribers that have come aboard, you know, thank you so much. If you're, if you're watching this video and you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Show your girls some support and love. And also don't forget, forget to click that notification bell. And for those that have been with me since the beginning, thank you so much for your continued support. So y'all, I'm going to end this vlog and I will see y'all on the next video because I'm about to fall asleep and I have not eaten anything. So I'm going to put this aloe vera on my neck. I'm going to eat and relax. I do got to print out my ticket for my for the event tomorrow. So I got to get that. Make sure I print that ticket out. But yeah, that's it. So if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please comment. And don't forget to click that subscribe button. It's just Janine. I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a happy rest of your Saturday, guys. Bye.